I'm going to record this if you don't mind. This is the Design Right workshop on January 27th at 11. And Steve Schneider from Super Polytechnic. And introduce yourself, Julia. Say hi. Hi, I'm Julia. There you go. Thanks. Julia is a member of the the SOUP, a small online open course called Design Right, I think. So anyway, yeah. So you've been reading this book called When Species Meet. So tell me how that's related to hypertext. Um. Well. Donna J. Haraway. Yep. Uh, part of her earlier work is on um, the human computer relationship and the nodes. And like, I can sometimes I'm even surprised at all of the words just that it has in common. Really? Her first book, I think, is called We Are Cyborgs. Uh huh. Where, you know, she compares the. Um, hybrid of what we have now and are and it's pretty cool two r's two r's where in haraway yeah no really oh no just one i've been spelling it wrong yeah a cyborg manifesto she wrote this yeah. one right yep yeah. Okay, but so that's, yeah, so that's really interesting um, kind of. But, like even just the commonality of words is actually kind of pleasantly surprising. Interesting. Well, that's, you know, when we talked about this, I thought that this would, this would fit with your way of thinking. So we'll see. So what I thought we could do for a few minutes is, because I know that you're, you've been struggling a little bit getting the Dropbox and stuff to work and all that stuff. So why don't you share your screen, if you don't mind, and we'll just walk through that. We've done that. Um, it's always helpful to, to, to do that. I learn more things, and people learn more things when they see it. So you know how to share your screen, I think. Yep. And um, good. And um, so there's a thing that we've been chatting about um, in the class. But let's look at your um, Dropbox first. You've got Dropbox set up. So go down to your – there you go. And um, – and you've got projectpuppy.html there. Okay, and share that link. Click on share link, right? Your, oh. Yeah, you, you can do it from your Dropbox if you want, or you can do it from there. From here? Either way. And so you can go back to your Dropbox. That's actually the easiest way. Okay. Do the Dropbox pull down and linger over Project Puppy and share link. Okay. Now, what's weird, it doesn't go anywhere. See that little notification in the upper right-hand corner? Yep. So now it's in your buffer. And so your buffer is a really important part of your computer. It's just like the most recent thing that's in your buffer that you can pay. So open up Chrome. And I like to use Chrome and paste that link. And don't hit return, though. Just paste the link. Okay. And um, I like to use Chrome to read TiddlyWikis and Firefox to write. Um, and in order to read this TiddlyWiki, we have to serve it. And in order to serve it, we have to hit a different server. So right now, you're asking for this page, projectpuppy.html, from the server www.dropbox.com. But let's ask for the same object from a different server, which is called DL. So replace the www with a DL. DL as in dog lazy. And then replace Dropbox keep the Dropbox, but add user content to it at the end. User content, all one word, and hit return. And now it will serve your TiddlyWiki, okay? Um, and that's an important thing, okay? But you can't write in here in a way that will save it. So um, do you have a, the program, I can't remember what it's called, Size Up, that allows you to put that on the right-hand side of your screen? So can you put your Chrome on the right-hand side? You can just drag it over there if you want. You've got a nice big monitor. Sorry for the, uh, yeah, you want it there? That's fine. Okay, now open Firefox. And put that a little bit to the side so that we can see your Chrome version as well at the same time. 
There, that's good. Okay, and then from Firefox, do a file open. Sorry, hold on. That's fine. We'll get there. Yep, Firefox, open file, and you want to click on Dropbox, which is there, and then open up. Yours must is under TW5, I think we might have put it, because we did yours a little while ago, and then open up projectpuppy.html. So click on projectpuppy.html and hit open. Okay, and um, okay, so you've already had this saved, okay, which is good. So, so just make it a little smaller so we can see your, um, both versions of it. Okay, and that's good. You need this really cool program on a Mac, and if you want to go ahead and get it, um, go to one of your browsers, open a new tab, and search for SizeUp, S-I-Z-E-U-P. Did we already do this with you? I can't remember. Yeah, but I think I made the rules. I, I think I didn't do the rules right. Oh, then just click on your search on your uh, spotlight in your Mac and look for size up. There you go. Yeah, it's, so it's probably just not running. Um, yeah, I guess you can just click it and continue the demo. Oh. So you don't want to buy it, so you want to, I think you have to do it again now. Oh, it's running, okay. So now you can like, so now in your Chrome, you can make, move it to the right side and the, you know, and the other one to the left. So you click on that window, click on size up and put it, you know, and select the place you want it. Where do I click on size up? Up top in your menu bar. It's up next to your clock and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so put that to the left. Or the right, either way. There you go. Okay. And then do the do the Chrome one and put that to the right. Yeah, so now they're perfect. Um, okay, so you're going to write on the left, on the, I, my left and my right. Okay, so you're writing. Yeah. One of the things that I do just to keep myself straight, because these look an awful lot the same to me. So in Chrome, you can go to Preferences and Themes. Maybe in settings, maybe in extensions. Mm, click on extensions. No. Um, appearance, there it is, the themes. And just pick one that has distinctive colors across the top that will differentiate it. The picture doesn't matter at all. You'll never see it. I don't know why people spend time doing it. But, you know, find one that the, yeah, that the thing across the top is going to, that's green. That might be distinctive enough for you. So if you click on that. I like brown. Okay. So there's an orange. I like the orange ones and yellow ones personally. And click add to Chrome. Okay, and it should be, now it's active. See how Chrome is now brown at the top? Uh-huh. Okay, so now you can just remember that that's different than the one that's gray. I like that. Okay, and that's really important. Reading on the left, writing on the right. Okay. Um, so, you've got this all set. Let's just make sure it works. Click on that plus sign for a new tiddler. Are we writing or reading? You tell me. We want to create a new tiddler. Oh, okay. And give it your name, written in camel case. So you probably want to start with a capital. Yeah. And write a sentence in that, type the text for this tiddler box that describes how you might be using it and put a couple words there in camel case and put one word or phrase in double square brackets. 
So what are you gonna? What are you doing here? You know, you're gonna. I don't know. You're 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 making a tiddly wiki about puppy training or something, right? Oh, I thought you meant what we're doing right now. Yeah, no. What are you doing here in this place? And what did you say, the brackets? Yeah, double square brackets, which are um, over there by the backslash and the vertical. There you go. Those are the double squares. And I'll try to say double square or square brackets, angle brackets, and braces. So right now we'll use square brackets. Perfect. So save that, Tiddler. Notice the red check on under Project Puppy has gone away. So in the, in, in the upper right-hand corner, you've got a saved wiki. So let's test that by going over to the reading side and refresh or reload, however you want to do that. Um, yeah. Okay, so it still looks the same, except we've got that new Tiddler there. Okay. So if you click, go ahead and click on training variables and click on write so you can write the tiddler. And so just write a really short note, like this is where I would define training variables or something. In fact, that's enough. Just save that tiddler because you're doing something that's not good. So save that tiddler and notice that that red check is still lit. So try. Oh, we're writing in here. Yeah. So now, so that's like just ugh. That's not good. Okay. But if you do it under that recent list, see where it says training variables. Mm -hmm. Then, like, don't click on it, but just drag it into your Firefox version and let go. And let's see if that works. Whoops. Um, I don't know what you just did. Hit back, hit go back in your browser. And that's weird, but try that again. Um, you, dra you want to drag it from where you can grab it. Yeah, anywhere you can grab it. And yeah, there you go. And you can drag and drop that onto there. And that should light up with a, okay, that's interesting behavior that we've just recorded. I have no idea why that's happening. So that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So go back in your browser. That's really bizarre, though. I've never seen that happen. Um, that's just weird. So anyway, now you're stuck. That's annoying. So you have to um, create a new tiddler on the writing side. I'm sorry, you want to go to your Julia Gentile tiddler. Yeah, and click on training variables. And always make sure you're writing in Firefox. Okay, so now let's, you're, this is actually going to be a list of training variables, right? Yeah. Yeah, so close the tiddler. Sorry. Yep, that's fine, because you don't want to save any of the changes. Yeah, I don't want to save my changes. I didn't change anything. And do on the click training variables again. And now on the tool command in the tiddler, 
there, there's a new here, nope, there, there's a new here button. Not new journal here, not clone. Um, we're, oh, I'm sorry, it's out, you've got it out there. Linger over the third tool to the right. That's a new here. Okay, so now, what would, the, what would one training variable be? Genetics. Okay, so type genetics. Actually, Okay, and you can change this later. Um, so hit save. And what we'd like to see is beginning to see a, uh, click on that I in training variables. That, the, uh, that one, and that gives you the information and click on tagging. And this tells you the names of tiddlers that are tagged to training variables, okay? But we'd like to see that a little bit more visibly. So if you, um, over in your reading side, open up the design right, a new tab, the design right, which is bit.do slash design right. So a new tab in Chrome. And it's a little weird with the stupid Dropbox. Um, it's bit.do slash design right. And it's probably in your, yep, you've probably got it. And it looks like new at design right has a list of tiddlers in it. Do you see that list of tiddlers there? Yes. Yeah, so try to open that tiddler. Edit that tiddler. Uh, it's a third, yeah, the th edit, there you go. And there's a little piece of code there that says list links. Uh -huh. Copy that line of code um, from the Is beginning. The first line? Yep, to the end of the double angle brackets, because that's what's going to make it a piece of code. You have to close it with the yeah. So copy that. And now you can go back to your training variables and edit your training variables, Tiddler. And paste it. Okay, and let's make this full screen, just so we can see it a little bit bigger. And close your menu so we can see it even more. It's way over to the right, in the far, far upper right-hand corner. It's like a mile away. That's good. And now click on, okay, so now we're seeing both. Okay, good. So notice, um, actually, if you could zoom in a bit with con Command Plus, Maybe three shots, two more, one more. There you go. Okay, notice that it's got that tag, new at design, right? Uh huh. Yeah, so copy your training variables from up above and replace new at design, right, with what you just pasted. So you can copy that and then highlight new at design, right, and just paste. You, don't, you can do it in all once, yet yeah, and paste. Okay, and now see that on the right hand side, in your preview, it's oh, look at that. okay. So what we're doing is we are listing as a series of links all and then all of the tiddlers, and we're filtering for any ones that are tagged with training variables, and then we're sorting it oh. by, the, by the date where we're creating. You don't really care about this. You might care about the sort, but right now it's actually there's an exclamation. All I care point. about is the filter. Well, you're filtering. And you're filtering by things that it's tagged to, and you're sorting at the same time. That's okay. Cool. So, in fact, under this piece of code, mm -hmm. so hit return, and then one more return, and then hit put a couple of back ticks in there. Excuse me, somebody's. Um, those are, yeah, two back ticks. These ones? Uh, that's a tilde, so it's the, not the shift of that. There you go. And right, um, I'm listing my links with the code above.
and notice it's in red on the right, and now close it with two more back ticks. And that's just a little note to yourself to self-document what you're doing. Oh, kind of like when you write what you're doing, like in, I did that with Arduino code. Yeah, I do exactly. It's just for commenting your own. It's just, like, it's just if you're used to writing code, it's a way of commenting the stuff out so it won't be interpreted. <clears throat> okay, so that's interesting. So close this tiddler. Are we saving it? Oh, yeah. And do another new here. And give me another. Notice it's already got that list. You can close all the. Well, we'll see it in a second. So give, give yourself another variable here. And I'm going to respond to this text um, in, for one second. So Go for it. I'm going to mute myself. Hold on for and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, environment, yeah, I should have said, just keep going, right, you got it. And here's where you might define the environmental stimuli. So what do you mean by that? Did I lose you, Julia? No, no, I'm Okay, you know, I didn't know, I didn't, yeah, okay. So, I'll do for now. That's good, yeah. So save that. Oh, wait, hold on. Save it? Sure. Um... And... Close your other titlers. Um, this? That's to close them all. Oh. Um, we want the... Oh, click on training variables. You've got a link to it right in front of you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and close all others. It might be a pull down on the... the not that, yeah, it's probably it's a pull down on tools. If you can't find it in the menu, it's going to be on the, keep going to the left. One more, more actions. And then and close others. Okay. And now do a new here and watch, go ahead and do a new here from, yeah. And notice, look at what's, what's been added to your list of tiddlers that are linked from training variables. Oh, look, yeah. That's the one you're working on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that it's instant because it's a single page application. Oh, that's good. That's interesting, right? So it's so so go ahead and, and one more one more. Okay, and before you hit save why do you think it hasn't changed in the list of tiddlers linked from training variables? Why hasn't it changed to reinforce me yet? Oh, don't do that. Because I didn't save it or yeah. write it? Notice the name of the tiddler right above it. It says draft of new tiddler six. Uh -huh. in, in the wiki's current state, and in fact, if you hit save changes over in the wiki instead of in the tiddler, 
Uh-huh. Go ahead, that red check. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And now go to your Chrome version of your own space and reload. And yeah, you want to leave the page, yep. And select under recent training variables. Notice it saved it as draft of Tiddler 6, not reinforcement. So just by Doing a new here, you actually create a tiddler and it's saved, even though you didn't really think you made anything. So what you're doing is you're messing with the state and you can research what state means, but it's just different sets of versions, different levels or different layers of your wiki. So go ahead and save reinforcement. and refresh on the left in your Chrome version, and of course you'll see that it will show up as reinforcement now. <coughs> oh, and it did. Okay, um, so this is actually one of the kinds of exercises that you might wanna do for the class. And let's say that you're Julia Gentile um, you'd like to put in the, in the um, about me. So go down to Julia Gentile Tiddler, and we're going to stay on the reading side and close all others. And now under more actions, there's a link to permalink. And notice the, the URL at the top. You got it. Um, the URL at the top now, it writes the name of the tiddler right in there with no spaces, so copy that and go to Design Right. And let's see, you want to, this is the About Me, so search for About Me. That's good. About Me, yep. You can go ahead and I'll click that. And you want to add something to the Google Form. So click on the Google Form link at the top. And paste in your link. After your, yeah. Yep. And then put your name in there, yeah. Hold on one second. This is Steve. Um, I will, you got the wrong number. Who, are you, who is this? Oh yeah, okay. We can't talk to you right now, so, but thanks. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Not somebody who wanted to talk about Tiddly? Not some, I thought that's what I was, I, I, rec, I thought I recognized the number as one of the students. So, um, yeah, and then, you know, say, hey, I'm just learning whatever you want to say. Or hello. Yep, and submit that. And so what you're doing here is joining the community. And go back to design right on the left. And in about five minutes, it'll show up on the very bottom there. So if you want to see other people's wikis, you can follow those links. Got it. Got it? So um, there, you did a lot, actually. You got a bunch of stuff done. The new here and creating tiddlers that are related to like your training variables, that's critical for you guys and what you're working on. I know a little bit about your projects there. And, um, and so I think you just want to, and then like you started to do it for environmental stimuli, you can begin to define it there. Uh -huh. um, and then so I'll do, back those, right? yeah, so click on it. I'll do one more thing with you. Click on environmental stimuli and copy the name of that tiddler and copy that and then create a new tiddler. And let's say that you're just playing around here, so call it playing around. 
I have a million tiddlers called playing around. Um, and so say you're going to write a little paper or something. So down in type the text for the tiddler, you might write something like, um, we defined, and then put in quotes, environmental stimuli. close quotes, as, and here's where we have fun, space, and, in, and now it's double braces, double curly braces, and paste, which should be the name of, and double curly braces. Oh, cool. So now if you change the definition of environmental stimuli, it will change here and you're playing around, Tiddler. Ah. And that... Tag this too? Mm, what, what do you mean tag it? I mean, do I have to do anything else to keep this up as my playing around to the, or just save it? Just save it. So if you want to see it work, edit environmental stimuli. Scroll up so you can actually see it happening live. There you go. And, you know, put something else in there. Well, I guess it doesn't, I guess it doesn't have, oh, no, it wouldn't, you have to save it, right, of you course. You have to save it, right? Yeah, 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 I have to write it back. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, you know, that may be, so what my, my, thinking here is that when you write not so much your def a little bit when you write your definition of environmental stimuli but especially when you write your playing around tiddler you're now thinking look at think about the different thought process that goes into your mind when you write playing around this way than if you actually copy the definition yeah it's just different, and I'm trying to understand that, and that's what this, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, so, um, so now you can imagine that playing around becomes. You, watch, you can watch it, watch your brain. Yes, but playing around might become a little chart that you put in a paper someday of definition of training variables, and then it begins to maintain it for you. So go let it playing around one more time. I just can't resist. Um, so put, instead of, we define environmental stimuli, get rid of everything up to the quote, to the first quote, and get rid of the quote too, and replace it with a vertical bar. Yeah, and then after environmental stimuli where the quote is, mm -hmm. put another vertical bar. Or after. At, get rid of the quote. Yeah. Oh, get rid of the whole thing. And then get rid of the as and that space too. Backspace over that space. Yep, one more. There you go. And now a vertical bar at the end of stimu after the braces. I think I deleted my, my bar. Okay, so put the bar back and a vertical bar at the end of the braces and, um, and save it. So now we've made a table. Oh, I like that too. Okay, and then if you see what I, and then a little bit more code, and then we'll have, a, we'll have it so that it will just go and get all the training variables and put them in a table that looks just like this. So now, we're, so now you've allowed me to use you as a guinea pig and demo some of the powers of the stuff that we're working with. And if you're aiming at that chart, the, your thought processes of how to write it are, are interesting and challenging because you know it might look like that someday. So, had enough? Uh, I want to go play with it now. Good, okay. Um, I think you've, you, we've solved some of the challenges that you've had, and if you want to work through the exercises or if you want to, you know, if you think that it's fun to do green eggs and ham, fine. If you want to replace it with something else, whatever you want to do to learn, you're on your own and chat in the group and have fun. Cool. Yeah.
Yeah, and if you want to share playing around, that's really cool stuff that you're doing with that with that table, and people will get, people will be into that. Okay. All right. Thanks, Julia. Thank you, Dr. Schneider. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye, Julie. I stopped recording now. Okay. How do How I? Fun. I don't know. End the meeting. I'm going to end too. Oh, okay. See you around. Bye.